Hey everybody, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Shonda um, Rhimes. Now listen, Shonda Rhimes, she, you know, she does her thing. She got Shonda Land, produces and creates a lot of uh, shows. And a lot of people, they get jobs because of Shonda. Now listen, there's this star from Bridgerton, Ruby Barker. She said, listen, Shonda Rhimes, Netflix, I had two psychotic breaks. They didn't care about me. They didn't check on me. And matter of fact, they told me to hide it when we was promoting the show because they didn't want it to impact the show ratings. And my thing is, I think all of these producers and show creators have a blueprint. And the blueprint is get the money and get the ratings by any means necessary. Shonda Rhimes, Andy Cohen, Carlos King. It's like they all one and the same. But we're going to get more into this story with this Ruby Barker, guys, right after this. <laughs> screen so this 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 thing is who it's a lot so Bridget and star Ruby Barker who said she had two psychotic breaks said Netflix and Shondaland never checked up on her now listen guys if anything you know about a job whether you're an entertainer or you simply work at Target corporate America whatever the people will let you know your friends will let you know child listen don't kill yourself don't stroke out over this job because you stroke out and die they may send your family some flowers and maybe a card, maybe a card, but trust me, the next day, somebody going to be at your desk in your seat doing your job and they would have packed your stuff up in a box and sent it on its way. Now, I know it's heart wrenching and I know it would be nice, but these jobs really don't have no obligation to call you up when you sick and say, hey, you good? They don't. But I get what she's saying. So Ruby Barker stated during a podcast interview that she experienced two psychotic breaks. Following her mental health care, she said Netflix and Shondaland didn't reach out to support her. She also spoke about how her character, Marina's isolated storyline on Bridgerton, affected her mental health. Now listen, you're an actress. If you read a script and there's a role, and that role requires you to do something that you know might trigger your traumas in you, then you got to turn it down. Now, well, I'm going to continue here. So after Ruby Barker, who played Marina on Netflix, hit Bridgerton, said um, the showrunners and streaming service didn't ad adequately support her after she suffered two psychotic breaks. In 2022, um, Barker stated in an Instagram video that she was hospitalized for mental health treatment, citing intergenerational trauma that she faced in her everyday life so you know that you had this trauma you was facing in your everyday life maybe you wasn't ready and stable enough to take on this role at Bridgerton I'm just saying this is a two-way street here at the time she thanked the streaming service for the opportunity to be on the show I need to thank Netflix Shonda Rhimes, um, Shonda Lamb for giving me the opportunity for saving me, Barker said. However, Barker said in an interview with Low Podcast that not only did she suffer a psychotic break a previous time in 2019, but that Netflix and Shonda Lamb didn't check up on her while she struggled. Not a single person from Netflix, not a single person from Shonda Lamb 
since I had two psychotic breaks from that show, had even contacted me or even emailed me to ask if I'm okay or if I would benefit from any sort of aftercare support, Barker said during the show, which is run by two Oxford University students. See, people end up telling a little bit. When they I went me. into oh, hospital the first time. Okay. I don't want to play that. I want to. I don't want to get a, a ding there. But she said it's run by two Oxford University students. Did those Oxford University students reach out to you when you had your two psychotic breaks? I'm just checking. Barco also spoke about how promoting the show and pretending that everything was fine in her life made her feel like she had an invisible GUN to her head. Barker was also affected by her character's tragic story while filming. In Bridgerton, Maria, Marina is shamed and shunned for a pregnancy out of wedlock. It was a really tormenting place for me because my character was very alienated, very ostracized, and her own under and on her own under these horrible circumstances, Barker said. On the other Netflix shows, crew and cast members have previously criticized the streaming service for lack of mental health support on sets. Now, I will say this. Now, that is a, 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 the issue, another issue in and of itself. Do I think that on these sets, um, they should have, you know, a doctor, a nurse, a psychiatrist. They should have everything to support these characters from beginning to end. But in her case of just random people perhaps calling her, you know, I think that you can't, you know, you have to be careful when you're running things. Right? A single person. From I can't just, I can't just randomly call someone when they're sick, especially maybe if the illness happened or was caused by the job, because maybe workman's cop is involved. And maybe my simple phone call saying one thing can change the way things go with the workman's cop, especially if maybe that person ends up suing. So you can't just randomly decide to call. This thing needs to be organized through HR. I do feel her and get what she's saying, but this thing has a lot of layers to it. Let's hear a little bit of her words. Hold on one second. John Deland, since I have had two psychotic breaks, um, from that show have even contacted me or emailed me to ask me if I'm okay. Bridgerton actress Ruby Barker is calling out Netflix. Appearing on the October 28th episode of Oxford University's Loaf podcast, the 26-year-old claims the streaming giant, along with production company Shondaland, failed to support her after she had two psychotic breaks. Immediately after I started shooting Bridgerton, okay. then a year later, I went back into hospital, which is the hospitalization that everybody knows about because that's the one that I spoke publicly mm -hmm. about. Ruby, who played the Featherington family's cousin, Marina Thompson, was a series regular on season one of Bridgerton and returned as a guest star for season two. It was a really tormenting place for me to be because my character mm -hmm. was like, you know, very alienated, very mm. ostracized. This is a lot, but let me continue. So on other Netflix shows, crew and cast members have previously criticized the streaming service for lack of mental health support on the sets. Last year, a crew member on Monster, the Jeffrey um, Dahmer story, said she experienced PTSD on set because of how she was treated. The same crew member, Kim, also told Insider that she had a better experience working on it inventing Anna because it was a she had a better experience working on Inventing Anna because it was a Shondaland production. On Netflix's popular reality dating show, Love is Brian, multiple contestants told Inside Producers um, the, um, that in, told Inside Producers deprived them of sleep and um, preyed on their anxieties while filming. Netflix and Shondaland did not immediately respond to Insider's request for a comment. Nice. Well, let's finish. Um, on her own. Um under these horrible circumstances. She says her first psychotic break happened in 2019 after she wrapped the show's first season. I went into hospital the first time a week after I finished shooting. And um, obviously the show on the run up to the show coming out, um, I was just then coming out of hospital because it took like a year in the edit. 
Um, my Instagram following was going up. I had all of these engagements to do. My life was changing drastically overnight. And yet there was still no support. And there still hasn't been any support. Ruby, who has since become a face for mental health, says despite hers deteriorating, she was, quote, trying really, really hard to act like it was okay. It's almost like I had this kind of metaphorical, invisible gun to my head. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. To literally oh, to, to, you... to sell this show because this show's bubbly and fun and all of these things. I don't want to come out and poo-poo on that because then I might never work again. <laughs> yeah, you've got this like, this like contrasting forces going on, I feel. Yeah. E! News has reached out to Netflix, to Shonda Rhimes and Shondaland for comment and has not heard back. Well, there you have it, people. I think a lot of people from um, the Bravo shows, reality shows are saying similar things. And it's like, well, how do you handle it? I think in this case, the responsibility happens on both hands, right? I shouldn't go apply for a job knowing I'm an alcoholic and I'm not in a, in, in a non-functioning alcoholic. And I'm just giving an example, guys. Um, I know well enough to clean myself up for the one hour that I'm going to have the interview. But as soon as I got to start work on Monday, I come there passed out, falling out, can't uh, do the job that I claimed I was going to be able to do when I did the interview. Am I making sense to y'all? Am I sounding crazy? Now, I feel for her. Now, mental health is real. But here's the thing. It's a job. It's a character. When you read this script, if for one moment you thought that this character and her storyline was going to trigger some of your traumas, what do you want that production company to do when they hired you to do a job? Now, am I saying they shouldn't have supported her? I am not saying that. But I'm saying it's a, it's a, it's a lot going, it's a lot of moving parts in this situation. And I always look at things like this. If I owned my own company, I owned a store, how would I feel? I, I'm, I'm looking, I'm to hire people. I, people come in. Oh, I know how to run a cashier. Oh, I, I love customer service. Oh, I love people. I really need this job. Oh, I could work Monday through Friday. I could work every other weekend. Then I hired them. Going by the words that came out of their mouth. Then they get there and it's time for them to do the job. And, and I'm supporting them more than they doing the job. Well, I, I can't come today because... I got to take my kids to school and, and the bus don't come to X, Y, Z time. It, you, you didn't know that when you when I told you the job started at eight, that you was going to have to take your kids and be at the bus stop for your kids. Well, I got to leave at three o'clock to pick up the kids. I told you the job was eight to five. You didn't know that. Y'all talk to me. I don't know. I could be wrong with what I'm saying. Y'all talk to me. But chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button and chat with me and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.